Welcome, welcome to 10 minutes high protein noodles. Ready, steady, go! Okay, okay, so it started, yeah. So we're gonna cook this in 10 minutes. It's delicious and easy. I've got water on a boil there, gentle boil. I'm gonna salt it and we're gonna cook our noodles. I'm using whole wheat meat, whole wheat noodles. Whole meat, whole meat. Oh no, these are, um, these are actually brown rice noodles. Vermicelli. Vermicelli. So while he's But whatever type of noodles you like, just pop them on to boil first. As per the instructions. Make sure the there's lots of water in your pan so it doesn't stick together. I've got 500 grams or 300 grams of tempeh here. And this is gonna be our main protein in it. I'm gonna chop this in half. This is rice tempeh. You could use tofu alternatively. It's rice tempeh, is it? Yeah, rice tempeh, yeah. Wow, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut these into kind of nice little steaks to go on the top. Um, and we're gonna sear these, which means just create a lovely skin on the outside. Beautiful. And just in case you're wondering, so we're cooking this in 10 minutes. There is two of us. Uh, Stephen's gonna do most of the work because I'm just gonna be the spectator. Um, but it might take you 12 to 15 minutes at home. And the whole purpose of this is to show you that healthy food can be tasty, delicious, and quick and easy as well. Quicker than ordinary takeaway. So right now I'm just gonna julienne our carrots. And the main reason I'm julienne it is that we often say the sixth flavor profile is texture. And by chopping these into different shape, it just means it's gonna bring a different mouth feel. And with the typical kind of a stir fry, you want your veg a little bit crunchy. So I'm gonna chop this small enough that it'll cook reasonably well through. And in this case, they're kind of matchsticks. That's what we're going for here. Yeah. So it's like pin What's matchsticks. What's that in your hand there, David? Uh, this is our 20 year book. Massive shout out to everyone who's pre-ordered our book. It comes out October the 31st. This is the best collection of the, the best recipes from the last 20 years, stories and adventures. We've got things such as our 20 learnings from 20 years in the health industry. Um, 20 ways to feed your kids more veg. Like it's a really cool book, it really, really is. So thank you to everyone who's pre-ordered. There, is, there is incentives if anyone does pre-order, uh, of which one is a tour of our facility, another one is a date. A tasting a, tour. A, a tasting tour. Uh, one is a date with me and Steve, or a lunch, it could be a virtual lunch or an in-person lunch. Or the last one is a, it's a four week coaching plan with me, Healthy Lifestyle Coaching. So it is available to be pre-order, link is down below. And we'd love you to order, it just helps Pre-order just helps get more people to eat more veg, which is what we want to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you're gonna turn our tempeh just to check. So we're searing it on both sides. There we go, it's just starting to sear. So sear means where it's just starting to go a little golden and seal on the outsides. And if you can't get tempeh, just use tofu. Tempeh is more Indonesian in origin. It's, mm. it's a fermented tofu or soybean curd. And it um, it just has a, a slightly different flavor to it. Flavor so profile. while our, our Tempeh searing, I'm gonna make a dressing. So I've got half a thumb sized piece of ginger. This is organic, so I'm leaving the skin on. I've got two cloves of garlic, in they go. I'm gonna go a little bit of a red chili. So half a red, half chili. red chili. I'm gonna go with some Dave's Magic Black Sauce. Also known as tamari. You could use soy sauce. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. I'm gonna go with a little bit of maple syrup. About one and a half two. tablespoons. Yeah, one and a half tablespoons. I've got one lime. I'm gonna chop that in half. I'm gonna add in there. If I we did have lemongrass, I'd go with lemongrass. But we're gonna, gonna go with the veg stuff. Uh, no, we're gonna leave that out for the moment. Right, so. And I have one meat. tin of full fat coconut milk. I'm gonna add that in. And I'm gonna take a stick blender and blend that to a smooth. Put a little bit of this through. Okay, we have blended up our sauce. I'm not sure how smooth this is. Let's see, get in and get it. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. There's only one clove of garlic that I will remove. So one of the cloves of garlic did and he didn't. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of this sauce, just to add a bit of flavor to our tempeh. Is that wow. what I'm gonna quickly start to fry. So it'll infuse it with a little bit of flavor. So we just wanna evaporate all the moisture. So we've got one courgette or zucchini. Stephen's gonna chop that nice and fine as well. And just cook off our tempeh there. I just wanna cook it until all the moisture is evaporated. So it absorbs the moisture and then starts, continues to sear. See the way it is searing again? The maple syrup will encourage it to caramelize and sear. And to crisp around the surface. Beautiful, the smell is fantastic. That sweet coconut smell. Oh, lovely. I love tempeh, but tempeh can be binary. Some people love it, some people don't. As I said, replace it with tofu, a firm tofu instead if you don't like tempeh. 
or if you can't source it. And if you can't get either, could you use mushrooms in place, Dave? Absolutely, you could use mushrooms, yeah. Uh, my personal favorites would be oyster, but chestnut, plain white mushrooms, portobello, mm -hmm. flat cap, they'll all work perfectly well. So this might seem tedious to have to julienne uh, your carrot and your courgette. So four minutes, could... 19 left. Okay, maybe let's get the show on the road. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's looking good, isn't it? Yeah, it is looking good, yeah. Okay, we I'm gonna get a plate aside. just to transfer to. <clears throat> so there are two of us, so this will take us 10 minutes. So it might take you 15, and possibly at a stretch, it might take you 20. But um, the whole purpose is to show you that tasty, healthy, delicious plant-based food can be quick. And easy. Okay, and I'm gonna pop a little bit of oil into the pan. We don't want it. We don't want to lose that flavor in the pan. So we're gonna pop in our carrots. We're gonna pop in our courgette or our zucchini. And we're gonna go in with a decent pinch of salt just to make sure that the the skit the flavors start to come together and they all start to sweat this a little is more. This all at a high heat. And if this does start to stick, we're gonna add a little bit of water just to deglaze that pan. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of water from now just Ooh, to nice. deglaze Ooh, around the edges. Look at that! Oh, I'm starting to get a bit of char around the side. So it's worthwhile chopping different shapes. It just really will present this, make this dish present better. Maybe use water rather than the sauce. No. No, I wouldn't have used the veg stock. Oh, veg stock, great. So colors are fantastic. How long? Three minutes, okay, let's get start pulling this. Okay, dish so through. our noodles are most likely done. I'm gonna check them, just get a knife, a fork and just check them. Oh, so we are down to two minutes 53. Can they do it? Of course they can do it. They being us. Come on, the lads. And the nice thing about kind of chopping them nice and fine like that is that they really mm. don't need a huge amount of cooking time. And if they are eaten raw, they're actually delicious. Noodles are done. I'm just going to drain and rinse them. Oh, this is looking lovely. Okay, as we're bringing this together, I'm gonna to take, I got some scallions, which are known as green onions um, in Ireland. We call them scallions in the UK um, and the States. I think you guys call them green onions. Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, the UK, I think they're called um, spring onions. Oh yeah, spring onions. Yeah, yeah. spring onions. It looks great. Okay, two minutes, time to get this party started. Okay, great, right, we're gonna start bringing them together. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, add in our... Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna add in all our noodles. Woo! Boom. Add in the rest of our sauce. So this is to be a bit brothy, so I've got 400 ml of veg stock. I'm gonna add that through because we want this to be a little bit brothy. Yum. Colors look great. We do have our template to go on the top. And we've got a load of herbs which we're gonna put through it as well. So whatever herbs, we're using, like once again, as we'll always say, don't feel bound by the veg which we've used. These are veg which are seasonal for us now. It's just the end of summer. Just yeah. make sure to use um, fast cooking veg. Yeah, so, like, fast, so not potatoes or pumpkins or squashes or those type of things. It's so more... I've got a load of herbs. Dave went up to the farm on the way here. We are one minute 19. So I have some coriander, some mint and some parsley. I'm rolling it together and I finely dice uh, the stalk just to really get all those flavors into it. There's some lemon balm here too. Uh, very important just to use to, to taste our dish. I'm gonna taste it first, try to get a fork. Season as you go. One. Yes, there's two forks. Uh, I imagine this will be so full of flavor and the lovely creamy kind of coconutty taste. So noodles are great. I kept a little bit of lime to go on the top just before service. Mm. Oh, yum! A little bit of lime. A little bit more salt. Another pinch more I'm salt. Go with a load of herbs. And I've got some red some chilies to go on the top. Looks fantastic. Okay, Great job, nice Mr. Bowl. 32 seconds, folks, 32 seconds. Here we go, nearly, nearly time's up. So exciting. Okay, there's a big one. Oh, lovely. And there's a the small one. Let's turn her down. Okay, we're officially off the heat. 19 seconds to plate up. Look at that. And I got noodles in the broth. That's exciting. Oh, I'm making a dog's dinner of it. You're doing great. Do you have the broth there? Do you have a ladle for the broth? Here we are, showtime! Okay, we'll just finish our plating up. I know we're just slightly over, slightly over. We are forgiven. Take our time, take our time. Do it beautifully. So always make sure and clean your plate. A little kitchen roll will just make it look nice and tidy. Sprinkle on some red chili, some extra herbs. And we're gonna pop on one little We'll go two. I'm gonna go with one. One looks great. Look mm -hmm. at that for stunning. Let's see. 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, 10 minute tofu Thai noodles. Oh, nice bit of flavor. Well, 10 minute tempeh noodles and a little sprinkle of sesame seeds to finish. That is an absolute outstanding dinner. Stunning, delicious. I'm gonna taste it from here. Oh yeah. Really, really spectacular. And once again, you can dial up the chili or whatnot. Mmm. Oh. That's delicious. That'd easy serve for three to four people, wouldn't it? Yum. Mmm. So, it's also gonna be high in protein. Tempeh is a fantastic source of protein. And um, yeah. Mm. What, look, Ooh. Really, mm. Thank you for watching. We hope it inspires you to eat more veg. Um, and as I said at the start, thanks to everyone who's pre-ordered our book. We really, really appreciate it. There's three great incentives, um, which so is- So is the book available to pre-order? It's available to pre-order. Um, it's out October the 31st. It's our 20 year book. So this is the best of 20 years, recipes, learning, stories. Um, and it's, yeah, there's three great incentives if you do want to pre-order. So there are full details in a link down below. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it so much. And the full written recipe, there's a link for it down below as well. Um, thanks, and excuse the chaos of this recipe, but we wanted to show that healthy food can be quick, tasty, and incredibly delicious. Yeah, so thanks, Mel. Bye, cheers. Mm, 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 mm.